We are very excited to be back with Steve Hartman and his kids for a new series of Kindness 101. They share stories built around kindness and character. We like that. This week's lesson is about having a sense of wonder. Don't you love that word? With the solar eclipse happening on Monday, the Hartmans tell us how finding simple joy in things like astronomy can make us all happier. Hello, everyone. This is Meryl. And today we have a wonderful lesson about... Wonder. And for a definition, we go now to Emmett at the dictionary desk. I'm defining wonder as a feeling of surprise and admiration caused by something beautiful. Great. Can you give me an expression of wonder? <laughs> <laughs> Good till the end. <laughs> Emmett? Whoa. <laughs> okay. Basically, when you're feeling wonder, you're feeling life at its absolute best. That's why a lot of people climb mountains and dive oceans. But sometimes, wonder comes to us, like it will in a few days. We went to the last solar eclipse because your brother George was adamant about it. So this morning, we've decided to look back at that day to show you the wonder that awaits. Under that wonderful, waning midday sun. I think it started. I think so. A nine-year-old boy is about to have the greatest experience of his little lifetime. A kid so into astronomy, he takes his planet book to swimming lessons, dressed up as the solar system for Halloween, and made his third grade New Year's resolution to get a shrewd idea of how the multiverse could be real. It's basically a theory about having not one, but an infinite number of universes. And you'd like to understand it better? Yeah, which I already have done. This is George. Would you explain it to me someday? I will. And me. And that is his little brother uh, Emmett, who would much rather be discussing anything else. It's just getting tiring for the whole life to be space. For Emmett and the rest of us Hartmans, <laughs> it's like living in an astrophysics lecture hall. Like dark matter is holding them together. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> we all laugh about it, but it's also been a marvel to witness. See. George is autistic, and one of the many blessings of his autism is this ability, shared by many like him, to find overwhelming joy in the most underwhelming minutia. By a strange coincidence, the moon is 400 times smaller than the sun, but 400 times closer to the earth. There's the sun now. Given all that, we made a road trip to central Nebraska, found a nice lady who let us use her farm, and waited with the locals. Is this everything you ever dreamed? It was the perfect setting. Not me. Perfect, at least, for most of us. And as the moon made its way to stardom, I saw something truly marvelous. Dad, it's so cool. So much of parenting is saying no and forcing vegetables. But on rare occasion, the heavens align, and you're in the perfect position to feed a passion. 1% left? Oh my god, it's so dark. I know a lot of people looked up and saw something remarkable that day. Look up there! But for mothers and fathers like me, the more beautiful sight was looking over at the reaction of our precious earthlings. Oh my. Joining us now, our boy wonder, George. Thanks for coming here, all the way from the living room. <laughs> it was a treacherous journey. <laughs> Seven years later, what stands out to you the most about that day? The beauty of a solar eclipse is in that ethereal quality that the air has to it when the sun goes out and you feel a sudden chill as if a thousand tiny knives are bearing into your flesh, but it doesn't hurt at all. It just feels somehow pinpricky. Wow. That's deep. If you want me here, you got to handle all the bells and whistles. <laughs> it's beautiful. I just wasn't prepared for the poetry. Okay. I have a question for actually all of you. Okay. We don't all see wonder in the same things. Have you ever found wonder in things that maybe other people take for granted? Yeah, definitely. Like what? Hedge trimming. <laughs> really? Yes. I think everything around us could be considered that. An engineer probably worked late drawing this very curve in some AutoCAD feature. So complicated. And that fills you with wonder. And that fills me with wonder, yes. George, thanks so much for joining us. It was a pleasure to be here. <laughs> On Monday, something wondrous will appear across a narrow swath of America. But miracles surround us daily. And finding those wonders 
isn't about being in the right state and time. It's about being in the right state of mind. We'll see you next time. Until then, stay kind. Stay kind, Steve. I just, I'm I so just, glad we got to meet George. I just love those segments. Yes, I do too. Oh, they're amazing. Yeah, just... But I love, I, I, number one, George has got a great sense of humor. He says, if you want me, you have to have handle all the bells and whistles. We love all the bells and whistles, George. We do. And I love when Steve said, thank you for joining us. He goes, it was a treacherous journey yeah, yeah. <laughs> from, from the, the living room. room. Yeah. Oh, living that room. was so great. Wow, wow. I was not prepared for the poetry either, but that was oh. beautiful. And now I am ready for Monday's Eclipse. Yes.